that five in Atlanta family is demanding answers after a police officer shot and injured their dog. They say this happened at their home where police say they were looking for a wanted person who wasn't there. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Alston live on Brookline Street in Adair Park in Yasmina. The family, they say they want to know why a gun was used as the first option here. Tracy, that's right. The family wants to know why wasn't a taser or pepper spray used on their dog, if anything at all. Now, Atlanta police claim the dog was aggressive, but the family says that was not the case. Mace taser, they had to go shoot first. Outraged and still in shock after the Gates family dog, Bear, was shot by an Atlanta police officer. I was shook. I was speechless. Now the two-year-old German Shepherd mix is recovering from several gunshot wounds. Bear could have died the, the next morning. The, the, the doctor even told me that she can't believe that he's still alive because he still got bullet fragments inside of him. So if they try to move them, he going to end up passing away. But they saved my baby. In a statement, Atlanta police say their officers came to the Adair Park home looking for a wanted felon the morning of October 3rd. Police say Bear came towards the officer aggressively because his owner couldn't control him and was therefore shot. The wanted person was not at the home, though he was known by the family. My dog ain't aggressive. Every dog barks. But the Gates family says the police never announced themselves after knocking and claimed the officers blamed them for not leashing the dog. They just asked, like, he came out aggressive. Why he ain't got no leash on? He ain't supposed to have no leash. He coming out the house. Now the family wants those officers held accountable for using a gun as a first option. They are wrong. They could have did something else. They could have tased my baby. That's, they could have. They really could I had to leave work early just to come home. To see this and I walk in the house, there's a lot of blood, like so much blood. The community helped raise the nearly $15,000 for Bear's medical bills. Danny, who lives across the street, rushed over after the shooting and says this should have been handled differently. The first thing I heard was the dog barking. I mean, they didn't knock very loud, so all the first thing I heard was the dog barking and then split second, like, like no time had passed, just first a gunshot, a heartbreaking whelp from bear and then just another shot and silence. And at this time, Atlanta police did decline an interview live in Southwest Atlanta. Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.